Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo here. I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to Total War Rome 2. Today we are doing a special scenario. This is basically D-Day, but the Romans are landing on the beaches and the Carthaginians are defending the beaches. Now, this was not my idea. This was actually an idea from one of my subs, Rommel. Uh, so here's his comment right here. It wasn't a very popular comment. It didn't have a ton of likes, but I saw it in one of my videos. and I was like, you know what? This is actually a pretty good idea. So what I did is I actually made an announcement to all my YouTube members, uh, like a special chat in my Discord. I was like, hey, do you any of you guys want to play with me and create this uh, scenario? Scenario, and this is uh this is what we got now we actually this battle is actually really good now sometimes when you do these like really unique sometimes goofy scenarios they're not very balanced but this one is actually very close and very exciting uh, so yeah we got the Roman huge fleet here and then we've got the Carthaginian uh, beach defense and wow what a defense here you got hoplites you've got deadly archers skirmishers javis uh, we we got the artillery and of course we have elephants which it was pretty fun during this battle we were kind of pretending that uh, each unit is a certain modern weapon so exam for example the the elephants were like tanks uh, anyways we'll go ahead and get this one started and I'll explain uh, the rules here a little bit so to make this really condensed and really chaotic we were not allowed to flank around the uh, defenses we had to attack so let me just draw this really quick we had to attack the very furthest right here and on the other side right here so we had to stay in this area basically uh, to make it very condensed very intense and uh, very exciting and it was uh, extremely exciting which you're gonna see here pretty soon the artillery is about to open fire uh, I want to really quickly explain my strategy here uh, I don't really do a lot of beach landing multiplayer things so uh, yeah I didn't really know what to do uh, in this <laughs> in this uh, situation but what I my strategy here uh, what I'm doing is that I'm sending up some hastati these are like really cheap units and the reason I'm sending them up first is because well they're really cheap and I wanted them to absorb most of the ammo then behind them I actually have some artillery ships so there and the reason I didn't send the artillery ships first is because I didn't want them to get focused down instead they were gonna stay behind the Hastati and just fire and then I would keep pushing up waves of ships because obviously since this beach is not very wide you can't unload all the ship at once so we're gonna be coming in at waves so there's going to be some tricky timing to that as well that you have to uh, take care of. But let's go ahead and do normal speed. And here we go. The first artillery shot. And, oh, this is way off. But it, I just, this was, oh, it was so cool. And you'll see it right here. It's just epic watching all the artillery shots. There was a total of of 16 artillery uh, units. And here we go. Oh, my God. So this right here, guys, is the recreation of D-Day in Roman times, in the ancient times. Look at that. And every single shot has missed this hus the Hostadio. Like, they know they're cannon fodder, but they're like, oh, thank God. They haven't hit us once. Look at this. Every artillery piece has missed. So lucky. So lucky. So here comes the, like, conscripted infantry. And the ships are coming ashore. And they are about, oh, look at, that one missed too. It went right behind the infantry. Uh, but they've got the beaches, and I cannot imagine what these Hastati are feeling right now. They've got to be terrified. More shots coming in. Uh, I think as the ships clump up, it is going to be uh, easier and easier to hit one of these ships. There we go. We're starting to get some hits. And there goes the artillery. Look how epic this is. Uh, the infantry kind of forming up. I was kind of using this hill here a little bit. Trying to quickly get more... Tr oh, there we go. There we go. And now our artillery is finally firing back. And we are getting some good hits as well. Hell yeah. Here comes the invasion force. Coming to liberate the Mediterranean. Let's do it. Not really. I mean, we're, I wouldn't call the Romans exactly liberators. But, uh, you know, here to conquer, essentially. But look how cool that is. You got the the the, the Higgins boat Higgins boats over there, you know, like that's 
<laughs> That's cool. But a lot of artillery going back and forth between two sides. Still waiting to push up because I, I needed reinforcements. Obviously, if I send up my Hastati alone, they're going to get wiped out. So look, look at this. It's just like the part in D-Day where the troops are kind of gathering. And this is it. This is the great push. And look at all that artillery. Oh. The artillery hitting the troops. The water turning red with blood. Let's see if we can push up there and try to break through these uh, defenses. At this point now, the uh, archers are using uh, are in range. And uh, I told the players to use fire arrows because it's going to look epic. And sure enough, it is. But hey, they are going for my Hastati. Look at all the ammo they're using on this Hastati. Uh, so they, yes, they're getting wiped. Oh my god. Oh my god! Look at that. That... Uh, Holy crap! Okay, that's D-Day right there. That is an insane amount of projectiles, and uh, they do absorb a lot of ammo there, but they do break, and we do have some Principes, or Principes, uh, that are pushing this front line. Now, unfortunately, we do some slow-mo. Let's slow this down here. We actually had some uh, friendly fire over here with the Carthaginian artillery. Uh, but yeah, my Hastati did not make it. They're already breaking, which is a real shame, but... It's kind of to be expected, and they, they did what they needed to do. Now, what's cool here is, yes, we have to come into waves, but what I decided to do is put my troops in Testudo, and what's going to happen is that's going to slow them down. Obviously, they can't march as quickly, so by the time they get to the front, the reinforcements will be on the beaches ready to support them. So that's essentially what I was doing here, getting them in Testudo, trying to protect them from incoming archer fire. So, yeah, we were... Uh, Again, we were we were kind of saying what each unit was. So like the principes were like the more well trained infantry, and then the the elephants, the tanks, the artillery as well. Artillery. You could say that the uh, this like sc uh, sc scorpion uh, piece here, this artillery is um, kind of like a, a sniper, and then uh, the archers are kind of like machine gun <laughs> machine gun turret MGs. Uh, but yeah, here comes the rest of the infantry and we are just again quickly trying to rush as much infantry as possible And that's really the key here on this D-Day scenario is try to mass up forces If they go in trickling in waves too much They're gonna get focused down and we're not gonna be able to make a solid enough push now My teammate here is doing an excellent job of holding on to the center and not breaking right away and Here comes more artillery breaking through these troops. Let's go ahead and press play here continue this oh another good hit another good hit some of my troops came back from routing I'm gonna I have to send them back in the zone of course because I can't flank around got it you got to attack this frontal position of the Carthaginians again to make it chaotic uh, my my testudo is getting hit hard with oh yeah here we go come on push Ooh, the artillery is a little scary for the testudo because my troops are so clumped up uh, but you know it is oh there we go that's a good hit they are um, getting nice protection against the archer fire and here we go here comes another wave constantly panicking constantly trying to send up more and more troops in terms of reserves we have a whole nother army back here so we are doing pretty well and this is at this point guys this is pretty much this is pretty much my whole army here uh, I don't really see anything. Yeah, that's it. This is all I got. Uh, but I do actually have a general and triarii, and it looks like another unit back here. So I am holding back some reserves. Again, I wanted to send in my general last. Uh, but yeah, so uh, like 95% of my army has been committed to this fight. And now I'm starting to push on this flank and more and more, more, and more of my troops in Testudo trying to make their way up to this front line. So we'll go ahead and press play again. Now the tanks, aka elephants, have not rolled in. Oh, let's play. Have not rolled in yet. But as time goes on here, it is looking like we are starting to mass up some forces and we are causing some issues here for the Carthaginians. They might have to send up reinforcements to hold this beach. Life's a beach. Invade it. <laughs> but the pikes over here doing a lot of damage. I'm focusing a lot of my army over on this flank. I'm trying to break through here and possibly try to get behind the pikes over there. If 
But I also love this classic rivalry here of uh, Carthage versus uh, Rome. And I think it, you know, it's only fitting for Rome to do a beach landing here since, you know, Rome basically defeated Carthage. Um, but yeah, not basically, they did defeat Carthage. But more and more infantry coming up to reinforce. At this point of the battle, I was feeling fairly confident because, again, if you look here, we are massing up a lot of troops and they're fighting well. They're not breaking. There's a couple breaking, but overall, they're fighting well and they're holding their position. And look at all these fresh troops. No longer have to use Testudo uh, because we've kind of breaking through that point of the battle where uh, a lot of the reserves are not getting harassed by the enemy archers. Uh, at the same time, again, my artillery ships are constantly supporting the infantry that is pushing forward. The ships are still getting hit with artillery, uh, but yeah, we're, we're trying to support. I'm Basically what I'm focusing on are archers. I'm trying to take them out from a distance and uh, trying to support the infantry because we don't actually have a lot of archers. Uh, for for this Roman invasion force. It's all mostly infantry because there's not really a diverse selection of troops that you can bring that are naval infantry. You know what I mean? Uh, there's only like a couple. So, oh, here comes the tanks. Here we go. Here comes the big bad tanks that already have blood all over them. Knocking down their own men. And they are going to help hold this front line. Look at that. This is a battle. Oh, the friendly fire. So uh, what I decide to do here is I actually decide to focus down the elephants. Because if I can just land a couple hits here. A couple hits to try to kill. Yep, yeah, there it is. There it is. They are going amok. They are running amok. And look at the direction that they're going. You see this? The direction they're going. They're going behind enemy lines. And that's going to be perfect. And I think the Carthaginian player does get a little concern. Um, so we'll see what happens here. He kills them all. <laughs> I think that was a little premature there. I think I think he should have let the elephants walk around a little bit longer before killing them all. Um, but hey, I'll take it. He just wiped out his own tanks. <laughs> he just wiped out his own armor there because uh, he was worried about the friendly fire. So I see a little gap in the Carthaginian lines. I'm going to go ahead and do my classic uh, column formation. Also have more artillery trying to take out the uh, the tanks over there, the elephants. And we do get a nice flanking maneuver. And I'm going to try to hit the flank of these uh, Carthaginians. I'm avoiding the center. If you look here, avoiding the center because I don't want to take on the pikes. Uh, so I'm going to wait for that. And over here, I also have a couple troops, and I'm trying to help push this flank. And once again, we've got some elephants here that um, are doing some pretty big flanking moves here, doing a lot of destruction, breaking a lot of troops. And uh, there's, there's a couple cool shots with artillery against these elephants that actually... I don't want to spoil it, but I also at the same time don't want to miss it. Uh, so hopefully we catch one of these shots. There's a couple of them. Oh, that's actually an impressive shot right over the friendlies and hit the Carthaginians. More Carthaginians coming into support. Here we go. More, more pikes. I'm going to just run right by them. I don't even want to deal with those pikes. The elephants, these elephants have to go. They are shattering their our forces. And boom! Oh, I just missed the elephant. Just missed the elephant. But I am now focusing all of my artillery fire on these freaking elephants because they got to go another good hit over there um I, I think on carthaginian infantry so they're gonna run back are they running amok no they're not nice flank they're trying to clear up this flank over here Oof! our artillery is being fierce there we go oh no it didn't kill any of the elephants man these african war elephants are tanky as hell uh, we also have the other elephants. Uh, we got the a general over here, Carth Carthaginian general. Uh, we have another African war elephant over here that is running amok, and this is hilarious. One of my allies, he focused his artillery on this African war elephant unit so they would never stop running amok. Because if you keep firing at them with fire ammo, it's going to keep scaring them. So, it, it, like, throughout this, the rest of the battle, these elephants are running amok because of the constant artillery sniping towards them. 
Okay, so let's let's get a bird's eye view here and see what's going on. A lot of death, a lot of carnage over here. We do have a unit charging the artillery on the flank, um, but it's still really close. Carthage still has a lot of units. Now, to be fair, a lot of these units are archers, um, but the elephants are going to be a big problem. And even though they are running amok, they're running right into the Roman infantry. Ooh, very close. I mean, it's been a lot of close hits here on these elephants. All right, so we'll go back to normal speed. More and more infantry is moving up. And my general is now moving up. And also his uh, his posse, which of course is the... Prin hey, we got some princa uh, Princapes and also some Triarii, which the Triarii are actually still over here. Dang it. <laughs> They're going to be very useful against the elephants. So they need to get on this beach landing. The infantry have cleared most of the way. The Triarii need to get in there to kill these elephants. They're like the anti-tank. Anti-tank unit. <laughs> these elephants still in the back lines here. We are starting to see elephants drop though. Which is good. And they are killing their own men. Which is also good. It's a very chaotic fight. And look at these, there's just elephants everywhere, everywhere, and just breaking these Romans left and right. Oof, that artillery, man. I don't know, guys, I feel like our our artillery uh, is a bit more ferocious than theirs, you know? Just seeing a lot of shots coming from our ships. But they might be running out of ammo at this point. And this nice little flank here by the mercenary uh, Cretan archers. Trying to get behind these Romans. Got the elephant support. Oof. More artillery coming in. We've got the elephants who are just completely victorious over here. This is the general. Our entire flank has been wiped. There's a couple Romans over here. But the strategy going into this one is to focus all of our units on this flank now. This is our best bet. We have to stick together because if we don't, we are going to be wiped out. Uh, like, you know, they'll they'll go after the, 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 the troops that are kind of standing alone, like the elephants. But if we stay together, the elephants aren't going to be as effective. Here comes another shot over here. Let's see if it hits this elephant. No, but it does hit a lot of Carthaginians. And wow, okay, finally, look at this. We've got a lot. Uh, this is Argamas, one of the... Uh, oh, there's an artillery hit. Oh, yeah. Good hit on that elephant. Uh, but yeah, the um, the Javis are now coming in to support. The MGs are coming in. But look at this, the planes. Yeah, so we called the Cav planes, <laughs> which makes sense. Doing some, uh, some Spitfire there, just doing some uh, strafing and hitting our infantry. I'm trying to quickly rush up my general. Ugh, gonna shoot my rifles there <laughs> at the planes, I guess. I'm trying to rush up and get to my allies' ar uh, skirmishers and trying to protect them. But look at all the artillery ships up here, just hammering away, trying to soften up this beach attack. And the Javis are gonna also be very helpful against the elephants. God. These archers now trying to focus down these skirmishers of Rome, it looks like. Here comes my general. Look at all the projectiles, man. It's so chaotic. So chaotic. And here we go, my Triarii. This is my last unit that is finally disembarking on the beaches. Princape is trying to hold against this general. And there we go, we break the general. My general is in the thick of the fight. And now the elephants are coming back for more blood. Look, they're going to charge right into this unit. 
Oof, that stings. That stings. They're most likely going to clean up these Romans. But they've got to do it quickly because the Roman infantry is starting to put a dent in this defense. And now the uh, levies here have used up all their ammo. They're going in to charge. Got an elephant back here. I got to try to take him out. But now Carthage is basically throwing everything they got at this defense. The balance of power is even, guys. Here comes the elephants. Doing what they can. Artillery still supporting this. Oh! Oh! Elephants going down. What a chaotic fight. And look at, that's it, guys. I think that's all the infantry. What's left is just artillery, artillery ships. And look how close this is. Now my Triarii, the anti-tank, anti anti-armor. They're going in. They're going to chase down these elephants. And they're also going for my general. My general is losing men fast. Look at that. You see it trickling down. Losing men fast. And look at it. It's still really close. Look at all the units still left in the battle. We've got a general over here for Carthage. They got the general who's in who's you know on the elephant there. Uh, so they still have a lot of troops left, and this is gonna be a close fight to the end. Oh! Oh, the yes! Artillery kills one of the elephants, so some really good elephant sniping from the artillery. So now it looks like we've kind of won on that flank. We're still dealing with the elephants over here. Another good snipe there on the elephant. They are big targets, uh, so we are taking these elephants quick. Quite sad, really. <laughs> Quite sad. And now what's left of the Roman infantry is pushing forward. The balance of power is looking really good. It looks like this is, go ooh. Now we're general sniping this, uh, this cab unit. Look at that flame right there. We're trying to take out these elephants, man. As long as there's one alive, they still have hope. We gotta take them out. We have the uh, scorpion here firing. We're chasing them down with some uh, principes, general. My general, unfortunately, while fighting an elephant, just doesn't have the stomach and retreats off the battlefield. Oof. And I think, honestly, at this point, guys, it's down to this one elephant unit who's running amok. Let's see if we can... Let's see if any of this artillery can land a hit here. Ooh. Oh, how did that not count? Oh, oh. Yeah. The levies have something. The, the Pila have something to say. And, uh, yeah, that's that's it for for this battle. Let's see if we can get two for one here. Two for one. Ah, yes, two for one. That happened a couple times. <laughs> Look, they don't even finish their death animation. Looks like it's some kind of circus here. They're doing some kind of trick, which is really sad, guys. Circuses with elephants you shouldn't support. Anyways, they get hit there with the artillery, and uh, a couple times there were some two-for-ones. I'm glad we saw that last one there. Um, but, yeah, that was the Roman D-Day. Uh, so what do you guys think of that battle? We could always try to revisit it if you think that we could have done something a little bit better there. But overall, for like that was literally this is our first go at it, and it ended so well. Just look at the carnage on the battlefield here after this beach landing the Carthaginians tried to uh, tried to hold uh, hold this beach now what we did to make this even because technically this is a uh, field battle we had to make the Carthaginians spend less money so I think they spent like everything but a thousand three hundred or a thousand five hundred something like that so they were but they were defending and they had the advantage of defending um, maybe if they were like a little bit closer to the shore that would have been better i don't really know i don't really know but um that was a great fight and it was so much fun at the end we were all just like wow this is really cool uh but let's end the replay and look at the stats i actually personally do really bad in this battle um i think it was because of my strategy of uh the hastati because look at them none of them really got kills but they did absorb a lot of ammo so they played their part and I feel like I killed a couple elephants and, you know, yes, Gimli, elephants, you know, they, always, they still only count as one, but it's, it's, uh, it's a big kill. It's a big kill. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, not too bad. Good, good job here, Charlie, with the uh, with the infantry. Did a good job with the infantry and the artillery. Uh, let's see whose artillery did better. So 94, 60, 47. He actually had four artillery. 54, 65. 54 27 that's still just both really good Argumus was the last reserve army and he's the one who had the skirmishers so he did ooh, 88 with the artillery really good and then we have not so royal on the defending side who did 624 kills with the elephants those elephants were a huge problem and then we got sergeant major joe who went 473 kills um not terribly good with the artillery i think it's because he was focusing down the ships um which you know you can't blame the ships are a little tanky they can take a couple hits and then we got mr markimus who got 633 kills but his other elephant unit only getting 46 if this elephant unit got the same amount of kills as the other ones i think we definitely would have lost that one for sure um but yeah that's that's gonna be the uh that's gonna be the end of this uh, D-Day scenario. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, don't forget uh, in the comments down below, uh, if you have a battle idea, let me know. I will certainly try to recreate them with my YouTube members and my Twitch sub, um, the, you know, the people who support me on Twitch. So thank you guys uh, to everyone who's supporting the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, uh, and I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.